Now the suspension system, it's got a big job to do. It has to support the weight of the vehicle and work in conjunction with the steering system. Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. Yep, we're talking about suspension systems. Now there's two types. You can have a rigid axle or a non-independent suspension and you see it there, one wheel hits a bump, the other's going to follow. That's usually on your big axle vehicles, heavy vehicles. Down below is an SLA, a short long arm or an independent suspension system. That means one bump's gonna hit, the other one's not gonna be affected. Both of ours here are independent suspension systems. The first one I wanna look at, well, it's the SLA, short long arm. You see the top upper control arm short and the bottom one's long. Matter of fact, it's right here, you can see it. This is the short arm up here on the top and then on the bottom down here is the actual long arm suspension system. Now in between here, you got a spindle and all kinds of components moving, outer tie rod ends, ball joints, which all need lubrication in order to work properly. Now over here on the other one, you can see it's called a McPherson strut system. Now on our McPherson strut system, it starts here at the top of the vehicle. Once again, that's turning to the right or left, the whole strut's moving with it. You might need some lubrication up there. Down here, you actually have a spindle down to a lower control arm connected to a ball joint, which absolutely needs lubrication. Now, when it comes to suspension systems, you can have all kinds of problems. You can see them on the screen there, but Len, better yet, I got them right here. You can see this ball joint right here, Len, it's worn out. This one, as a matter of fact, I don't even have to do anything to it. It's flopping around. And then our tie rod end, same thing, just totally flopping around. How do we prevent that from happening? Well, you gotta get some grease in there. So making sure that it's greasable is always a key piece of the puzzle. You wanna make sure you're using the proper grease. We have different greases for different applications. Now, if I was using just a passenger car, maybe an all-around grease, what would I wanna use? You'd probably use our multi-purpose grease. That one is the one that's gonna be safe for basically everything. You could use it from high-speed wheel bearings to ball joints like we were looking at. Now, you got something for everybody. What about your other greases? Heavy-duty applications? Yes, from there, you start to really specialize. So you get into the racing greases, and those are gonna provide more protection for high-speed, high-pressure type applications. And then you've got your equipment, which is probably the most extreme use of grease, where you've got loader pins or buckets or different things like that that really pound the grease out. That's where you're gonna wanna use our off-road greases. Take it from Len, grease is the word. Now, whether you're looking to lube your suspension system or your entire vehicle, like your engine transmission differential, just visit amsoil.com for the best possible products you can buy.